Sir, is there any way that you might be able to help us out just a little bit? Just a little effort. I just have no strength. No strength? Maybe you try to get up under his arms. I'll try and get down if I can get to his arm. belt. Yeah, there's just... Yeah, I'll pull a shirt. Yeah, he's barely moving here. Yeah, he's just not moving at all. We're really in trouble here. All right, I'm going to try to grab his shirt under here. I'm just here. We're trying to get it on our... He's so jammed in here. All right, I'm going to go for a belt, Luke. Why don't you grab the bed on the other side oh, there? Okay. It's a little lower here under the toilet so we can get you. All right. There. Oh, it just ain't happening there, is it? He's a big boy. All right. Ah, yeah. shoot. Oh, sorry, guys. All right, you oh. right here. We've all been there at 3 o'clock in the morning for the lift assist with a patient trapped between the toilet and the tub. There's no good way to get a hold of them. People don't come with handles. Any way you try to grab them, it's a risk to the patient and it's a risk to you as a responder. Back injuries are the bane of my existence as an administrator. Here's a product that helps to solve that problem, the bender lift. You strap it around the patient and you've got 360 degree access with handles to grab. It lifts the patient easily and in a position where you can save your back and save the patient from any further injury. It's a great product. It's a force multiplier. When you've got two folks and a big person to move on those lift assist calls, this can really help out and really be a back saver. The bender lift comes in two sizes for any size patient. It's really easy to put around. You wrap it around the patient, you buckle him in. There's two leg straps to keep it from riding up when you try to lift the patient. And what I like best about it is that there's handles 360 degrees on the patient. So no matter what position they're in, what impediment they're trapped in, behind, around, you've got good access where you can use proper lifting techniques. Two people, four people, six people. There's handles all over this thing. So you can get in the best position possible to lift the patient comfortably and without injuring your back. We have these skills. We use these in the form of KEDs and other devices all our careers, so it's nothing new. It's very simple to get around them. It's easy to position the patient for a comfortable lift, and then once you get it good and snugged up, you, your partner, or however many folks you've got there can find the best place for you to grab and then lift the patient more comfortably, either onto a stretcher or onto a standing position. Lift assists are a big part of what we do on a daily basis. People just simply need a way to get up off the floor. And instead of tugging and yanking and grabbing, the bender lift allows us to get them comfortably, snugly secured, and then lift from an ergonomically positive position for our backs and our health. In the fire department anymore, 70% of the calls we run are EMS related. And a lot of times the fire crews get there before the ALS or ambulance crews. How great would it be to have this on board, get this strapped up and ready to go, and when the ALS crew arrives, you've got the patient secured and either ready to lift or standing and ready to be checked out and released. It's a time saver that gets units back in service quicker and ready to respond to other emergencies. The thing I like the best about this though is the savings in backs. Backs are the leading cause of injury for EMS and fire personnel, and it has to do with lifting patients. And if you lift the patient properly, you can save your back. But we all know that those positions are not always readily available. The bender lift allows us to lift potentially in the best spot possible for us, using our legs, not our backs, having good lifting positions that secure to the patient with the snaps and the buckles, so we can save our backs, and that saves your department money in the long run for workers' comp claims. The bender lift system is a force multiplier. It allows us to lift in the best possible position for our back safety and also for the best possible position for patient comfort and patient safety. The other advantage the bender lift has is its size. It's very compact, very lightweight. It comes in a little carrying case. It's easy to fit in any fire department apparatus into an ambulance. We all know space is a premium. This takes up very little space. It's easy just to grab it with your other gear and go. We all know that nor heavy objects are not what we need to be carrying into a scene. We want to save space, we want to have it readily available because as I said, 70% of the calls the fire department's running are EMS related and we know that the EMS folks are running these things on a daily basis. Lift assists are part of what we do. Bariatric patients are here to stay. We've got to be careful with our backs and our health. The bender lift helps us become a force multiplier. With handles 360 degrees at multiple levels, we can grab people where we need to grab them to be safe for the patient and safe for the responder. We have to remember people don't come with handles. The bender lift gives us these handles and in all the convenient spots where we can lift somebody safely. Back injuries are a huge part of our business. They cost us tens of thousands of dollars in lost time and premiums. 
We can save that money if we do good lifting techniques and good lifting procedures. The bender lift helps us achieve that. With the multiple grab points, the 360 degree access, we can save some backs with this thing. It's easy to use, it's built a durable construction, and I think it's going to be a real savings to us in the future for saved backs and fire and EMS. I'm Chief Rob Wiley, this is the Innovation Zone.